Hi all, today I am here to discuss about one of the blood disorder that is leukemia. As you know that leukemia is the blood cancer. So here we can discuss about what is the leukemia and what are the treatment and what management we can provide for the leukemia patient. So leukemia it is the malignant disorder of blood and blood forming tissues bone marrow and lymphatic and spleen. So the leukemia the word derived from the Greek word leukos and aima. The leukos which means white, aima which means blood. So let us see what are the causes or etiology factors of leukemia. There are, there are many different uh, etiologies are there. So let us discuss that. First one is the congenital anomalies and second is genetical or environmental influences. The third one is the exposure to radiation and fourth is the long term exposure to the any chemical such as benzene and also immunodeficiency and infections. These are the etiology of the leukemia. So let us discuss what are the pathophysiology of leukemia. So let us see already we have discussed the etiological factors. So due to this etiological factor the normal bone marrow replaced with the immature bone marrows or blast cells. This immature blast cells will crowded in the bone marrow the normal bone marrow and it will impair the ability to make new bone marrows or new blood cells that will decrease the platelets RBC and WBCs. So finally we can see there is a malignant disorder or development of the malignancy. So this is the leukemia. So let us see what are the signs and symptoms of leukemia. Fever, pallor, weight loss, anorexia, pain in joint, bone, abdominal pain and unexplained weight loss and also we can here see the patient is very fatigue and lethargic. These are the common signs and symptoms of leukemia patient. So let us see what are the diagnostic evaluation we can uh, do in the condition of leukemia. As you know all the disease condition firstly we are given to the priority to history collection and physical examination. So here also the same we have to do history collection and physical examination, CBC or complete blood test and uh, chest x-ray if you have to find any kind of the uh, chest or lung infections are there or not. So bone marrow biopsy. So these are the important diagnostic evaluation we can do it. So after the diagnostic evaluation we are confirmed with the disease or leukemia. So let us start the treatment. So cancers mostly we are doing the uh, cancer treatment there are chemotherapy radiation therapy and also the trans, uh, implantation or transplantation of blood uh, bone marrow. So first we can see the chemotherapy. The chemotherapy there are mainly four phases are there. First one is the induction phase that is the first uh, phase of the or first stage of the treatment of chemotherapy. In this stage we can use the low dose drugs to the cancer patient or in the leukemia patient and this will help to uh, give the uh, low dose medication and it is kill, help to kill or uh, eradicate or the leukemic or uh, cancer cells. And second is the intensification stage or intensification therapy. So after the induction therapy the second we can do for the intensification therapy. Here we are using this therapy to eliminate the cancer cells. And after the two uh, phases, the third phase we have, to, we have to do the consolidation phase. In this consolidation phase, uh, the remaining leukemia or cancer cells are there after the two phases. This third stage we are using to that kill the cancer cells. 
and fourth one is the maintenance phase. After the induction, intensification, consolidation, this all the treatment we are doing. After this, the fourth one is the maintenance. We are using the same drugs and also with the low dose. After the chemotherapy, we can also uh, prefer for the radiation therapy also and also transplantation of our bone marrow. So here the radiation therapy with the use of the beam, we are killing the cancer cells. And the transpa uh, transplantation of the bone marrow also, it is an effective treatment and it is the eradicate all the cancer cells and the patient chances to recover fast. So after this treatment, we are going to discuss about the mercy management. As a nurse, here is our important role. We have to provide the nursing care to the patient. So mostly, first we have to do the assessment of the patient. An assessment of patient condition and provide the comfortable position for the patient go undergoing the treatment. And monitor the vital signs during the chemotherapy radiation and procedures and also and uh, between the and after or pre procedure if any abnormality if you are noticing in the vital sign we should inform to our doctor and provide psychological support here is very important for the psychological support it will be relax the patient and family members and prescribe the medication as per the physician order and regarding the disease and treatment, we have to provide health education to the patient. So today we are discuss about the blood disorder, one of the blood cancer that is leukemia. And here you understand what is leukemia and treatment of the leukemia. So hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next video.